We stayed on the farm till I was five. A hired hand looked after me about as much as my mother did, but my mother was a very strict woman, so she knew where I was at all times, and mostly I was out at the barn. The hired hand used to set me on Daddy's old buggy horse while he did the chores in the barn, and the old horse was eating, and he knew I'd stay right there on that old horse. So Larry Hilbor was one of the first members of the um, Oklahoma A&M uh, Rodeo Club here on campus. Um, he had this love of horses and love of rodeo from a very young age. At five, he moved um, from a farm in Missouri to Tulsa, and I think he sort of mourned the fact that he wasn't around large animals and horses and sort of agriculture way of life anymore. Um, and he bugged his family to get him a horse from the time he was five until they finally got him one at the age of 10. Um, he ended up being able to house that horse at the state fairgrounds, which is where you just sort of did that sort of thing at the time. Um, but there was also this really great group called the Tulsa Mounted Horse Club. And the boys roped calves and they rode some bucking horses that people would bring in for them to ride and they were a bunch of city boys who really wanted to be country boys or cowboys. And some of them were quite polished calf ropers. And therefore, I wanted to be one. And so, Larry remembers the first time that he ever actually roped a cow. He, one of the older kids just asked him if he wanted to try it and he said, yeah, I'll try it. And pretty soon his name was called over the loudspeaker and he had to go. And so he runs out there on his horse and he um, follows the calf and he shoots for the rope and he misses, And but he did it and he's really excited. And I don't recall whether it was that week, but I was considered a member. And I was on the roping list every week and it wasn't long till I roped a calf. And I had no idea what to do about it. <laughs> I knew I was supposed to get off and throw him, but I didn't know how, and I wasn't all that big. And so this, this guy has to jump over the side of the fence and come out and actually um, knock the calf down and tie it up for him. Um, and so he then learns how to do that. <laughs> so um, you can tell that he, <laughs> you can tell from him telling his story that he really did idolize these guys. He really learned how to do some, some valuable things in his life. When it, Larry was old enough to join the military, he went into the Navy um, and he served time at the end of World War II um, in the Pacific Ocean. But when he came home from that, he was, uh, he was still ready to rodeo. His wife at the time had already enrolled him in the Oklahoma um, A&M College and he, whether he wanted to or not, <laughs> he was going. And when he got to um, Stillwater, he found a group of guys that were interested in rodeo over a short period of time, and they decided that that was something that was missing out of their lives while they were going to college here, and they were gonna they were gonna find a way to do it. <laughs>